Hey there, thank you so much everybody for visiting my channel once again. This is Young's Paper Creations and thank you for giving yourself permission, an opportunity, and me the honor of trying paper play. Thank you for visiting my channel. So, right now, I'm going to show you something that uses up all the scrappy pieces of papers. Why? Well, <laughs> the more you craft along the way, the more scrappy papers you will come across. I've spoken about this numerous times because the beauty of paper and paper crafting is that your creativity is not just about big pieces of papers. It's not about big pieces of paper. It's about using almost any size of paper, pieces of paper, to create something beautiful. And so, for example, we're often left with these type of pieces one and a half inches, one inches, you know, um, pieces of papers. Now, as it gets a little bit bigger, maybe two, two and a half, we can use them for pockets. But aside from that, really getting a handle and keeping a handle on our scrappy pieces requires that we use as many pieces as possible, as many of the small pieces as possible. And I've spoken about this again before because the honor of, for example, my giving you, let's just imagine that you are a crafter as I am, your scrappy pieces will be indeed on some level different from mine. Why? Well, because if you happen to have some pads of paper, and um, when I say pads of paper, I mean these pads of paper. Michael sells these, and a lot of other places sells these uh, that are, you know, smaller private businesses, or maybe in the States where I've gotten some of mine. These pads of papers, um, when we do our crafting, we end up with pieces being left over. And so, sometimes they're so pretty, guys. Sometimes they're so beautiful that I don't want to use them up. Or not right, not just in any, in any way. So, if I, for example, was to give you all of my scrappy pieces... And then you, in turn, give me all of your scrappy pieces. Guess what? For me, myself, and many other crafters, that would be a get. That would be a privilege. Because we will be accessing pieces of beautiful papers that we do not have. So when I give any random persons pieces of these offcuts and they might think oh what am I gonna do with this or they'll leave it someplace oh please don't ever tell me about that because that's gonna break my heart it's literally is gonna break my heart but the thing is unless my crafting is such a fast pace and profound you know movement of request I'm going to be having tons and tons of pieces. So I've got to use them, and I do use them, and we do use them. So our crafting and creation is not just big pieces. They're all manner of pieces. And I, right now, will show you what this, these pieces can create. All right? So, for example... Let's start off with a base. We want to make clusters. 
these clusters becomes like ephemera pieces because they go into journals to create and so this is what we will be working with we need these pieces of papers we can use the base for them because it, it makes the process easier there are many ways you can work with it without the base so there's that and then all we would be needing would be maybe a stapler uh, for myself I like to incorporate this hole punching is a very tiny hole punch why because then I use a brad and for the you know I'll show you but I will remove this to show you some of the gems I have created so far So these are some of the gems I've created. And these are called clusters. What are clusters? Exactly what it means. A cluster of things. And paper crafting is so beautiful that when you put things together randomly but yet cohesively, it, you just create magic. And these lovely clusters are so quick and easy that if that's all you had to and, and let me bring this a little bit closer to show you you see look how pretty these are so for example I did the clusters of very uh, you know similar family use of colors and then I topped it off with this piece of lace and I use the brad right here which goes in the enclosure to the back now these are going to be uh, used to decorate you know varied parts of a page here I did the same cluster different pieces of papers obviously and then I had a nice little uh, small punch that punches out this what do you call this uh, Oh, not banner. Oh, I can't even think right now. But this little shape here. <laughs> and then I stapled that with all the gems together. And then I took a sticker that I got from Timu with a stacked set of books. And I placed it on there. Here I did the same thing with the stacking of the varied uh, pages. But pieces of paper. But then I had a stamp paper with some lovely images of young children cut I tore that down and then um, attached that to the top and voila here I did the same as this and this this was the same so these three are just four I did the same and here the stamp that I told you had three children together and so I just tore them apart and here we have so once you get going sometimes you could even follow the same pattern especially if the papers are you still have the same pieces of paper follow that same pattern and use it up uh, creating your clusters here I did the lace pieces but in different colors to suit the papers that created the cluster and so here I have this one in yellow the brad finished it off to adhere the lace while underneath to gather the papers together I used my handy dandy stapler so once you get going it's such a lovely lovely uh, time that could be gotten uh, so I don't know if you can see but here is my staple and here are the pieces of papers I stapled together and now if I wanted to just cover that and embellish these uh, stacked pieces of papers I could put this on there which is going to take up the whole piece and that's fine as well or I can take this little die cut piece placed it right over the staple 
just to cover that up if you wish. Some people actually love the rustic siting of the staple, but anything at all can go to the top for decoration. And so why not this circle, right? Why not if you wanted to? And then maybe if you want, and the, the space that you're decorating is a large space, then you can just adhere varied sizes of circles and staple it together. I can see something like this. And then let's go in. This is a journal that needs to be finished. So, ooh, oh, oh. Mmm, I just got a wave of beautiful feeling because look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, mm -mm. I tell ya, sometimes the feelings that you can get from doing what brings you joy, as much as I'm looking forward to my Boaz, I'm so grateful that God has given me something to occupy my time and yet bring a smile and joy to someone else, letting them know that therapy can be found in so many different forms and this is one of them. So I'm so excited about this, guys, that I'm actually going to finish this off. I am. So let me get a Brad. Cannot let that go to waste. I am so tickled. And I can't for You see, this is the thing. People would say to me, Oh, I don't know if I can do that. That's so crafty. I don't know if I have that kind of skills. And I want to shake them silly. Because of course you do. All, you, all it takes is for you to do something, you know. And if you make a mistake, who cares? You just fix it. And what I just did, I've not done before. But now... I so think it rocks and so I'm gonna put a brad in there hold that together go back to my page this is a lovely page layout by the way if I should say so myself so you can see under here I've got the cluster but always remember as much as the cost of the full cluster is covered up you still have the idea and you know of the clusters underneath so it's just that little peak you know that when the ladies wear the camisoles and the the whatever fancy stuff at the top of the the um the stockings all men need to see is a little hint of that and it titillates the spirit hopefully it's your husband that's creating that feeling um, but I tell ya, this right here, I love it. So it's you could have varied forms of circles. Here I've got one circle that's larger and the two the same. But because of how I've positioned the circles, they're not right on top of each other. And they, they're just that lovely, lovely look. I can't even put it in the woods. Uh, now I can put this to the side as well. I kind of like it here. And then I'm just going to close it to see what it looks like. And it's got this little peekaboo thing going on. Me and Mrs. Jones. We got a thing going on. Woo! We both know that it's wrong. <laughs> but it's much too strong to let it go now. Well, listen, there's nothing wrong about this and everything that is right. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this bad boy down because I don't want it to go to waste. No. No, 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 no. You are mine. So this is done done I say I'm putting on a little bit too much glue under there but I just don't want to turn and twist anything too much to get this out of the way I love how this looks look at that I love it I love it it is 
scrumptious sitting there. This is what those scrappy pieces of papers can do. So this is the lovely gems that I created with pieces of paper. And I want to go in and show you roughly what I've done, how I got here. So I'm going to go back out and bring my scrappy pieces back in. For a minute, I'm like, where is it? Where did I put it? Because I am surrounded, literally, by papers. So, as you can see, the use colors of the papers, they vary. So, you probably first want to make sure that they're like colors, right? That they're alike. And so I'm going to start. So this is our base. This second one is our base. And I'm just going to tear a few pieces. Right? Just randomly. Just fun. So if you're sitting around watching TV, maybe you're talking on the phone or something like that. Talking to a friend or beloved. Your potential Boaz, which I'm seeking. <laughs> um, listen, I'm waiting for God to show who he is and he has to show, he will have to show himself to me because he who finds a, you know what, finds a good thing, baby. Yeah, he's going to come and find Aisha busy at what she does because I ain't going to sit around and wait. Would be nice for you to show up at any time now. But at the end of the day, when the father say it's time, I welcome it. If he says wait, I might be like, hey, what's going on? But I'm going to wait because I need and want and deserve a good thing. So when this man finds that good thing, my name will be all over it. So... Let's forget about this one for now. I'm going to move it just so you're not distracted. So here we are. And I've got a bunch of what looks like just a bunch of scrappy pieces of what? And so let's put these together. Hopefully I have a wide um, variety of scrappy goodness to actually do something. I don't know. I just tore some stuff, guys. I just I just tore some stuff. Right? I'm just tearing. I don't know. I'm tearing. Because I got a whole bunch. <laughs> um, okay. So now I have to try and find it. Make it work. So. I just want to randomly take some. Forms of some colors create something let's see how many we can make but they've got a match they've got to go together and you saw how beautiful my my creations were these ones and it was the same format I took I played around I put one underneath here put one underneath there and before you knew it, I had something. And then again, if you were noticing that, you know, you could say, hey, that makes sense. Well, if you've got the same pieces and colors, just blend them all together and just right then and there, put them all together, right? You're not inventing the wheel. You're just using all the pieces that you have. Instead of throwing them out, you're gonna create something pretty. You know, the worst thing, like I said, is providing people with your scrappy bits and to them it's garbage and to you they're gems of beautiful something and yeah please don't let me know that you've thrown out some good stuff that I've given you because I'm gonna be mad I'm gonna be upset and disappointed 
my word. But, you know, we cannot use all of the scrappy. I think it's a great blessing to be a part of something. And so for my business, Try Paper Play, it's such an honor because I'm bringing people into this space, this therapeutic space of playing, paper play. You do not need any skills. If you're having some kind of a function and you just want to bring some girls over and, you know, have a fun old time, you know, mingling and laughing and chatting or, or you know, you have, you know, a child that's celebrating a party or you just want to keep, you know, bring creativity into your space, your life or your child's, give me a holler um, and, you know, book me to come in, you know, that's what it's all about. If you're working in an environment where um, your co-workers are all stiff and stuffy and people are depressed and you know, and all that stuff, and they need some play in their lives. You know, like, why do we stop playing just because we get older? I come across some people who are as sour as ever, and they work with people. Like, really? You know, you need to be cheerful. People need to do, you know, um, as they say, you hire for, for personality and not for skills because some people just need to leave others alone or become joyful. My goodness. So that's where I come in. Just take life, light-hearted people. Cheer up. We're not going to be here forever. So put a smile on your darned faces. Get me going. <laughs> Don't get me going. You guys know me. You guys know I'm like this big nerdy cried person. But there's some things that just drives me bonkers. Because when I'm being cheerful or dancing on the street or just being in a happy space not so much today because maybe I just don't bother with it anymore but in the past people would give me like weird looks and here's the thing guys maybe there's just like too many weird people today that it's like a norm now so yeah um but yeah I love being in a happy space make a joyful noise unto the lord so yeah so I am not sure if you're seeing what I've done, but loving what I've got here, I don't know if you can see, but this is, you see, as I'm chatting away, I've been able to make this lovely set of clusters. Yes, I did. Look at it. So what do I do now? Well, so some people believe that, you know, you do all the tearing and you hold all the pieces like this and then you do your you staple it and all that and then others believe well why don't you do it under a background such as this and then you just staple it right then and there tear it out then you already have it so you, you just take away that whole holding all your stuff in your hands because you get to see what the layout is going to be just like that now here's a kicker if you can go about and some people you know what they do they put like little glue pieces and I don't do this but I had gotten this glue so that I glue stick so that I can use it but I don't know I don't know to me that's a whole lot of trouble and glue and so I haven't taken to doing it that way but I like my handy dandy stapler so, if I don't have them falling off, which it just might, because you know what I what I did? I just tore it right here like that. So, don't worry with that stapler I was holding. Just tear off your stuff just like this. And then, I stapled it. Bam! Bam, bam! There was a song that went something like that a long time ago. Who knows what it is? I don't know. I used to really enjoy my R&B. But then, you know what? I kind of, like, become a little bit more careful with my song selections. Because some of these songs can... I'm really chatty right now, right? I just noticed that. 
But seriously, some of these songs just revs your engine when you're single and especially when you want to walk with the Lord in the light of His love. <laughs> you don't want to get all hot and bothered and such, right? You have no idea how I'm just waiting for my partner, my friend, my husband, my person. And if I never get that person, I want to be so full of joy, so busy, helping other people find their beloved or finding their space, you know, of creativity with, you know, the trying of paper play that I don't even bother too much because part of me just like uh, Bujabantan or somebody sang I wanna be love <laughs> that for who you think I am <laughs> I don't know something like that real love <laughs> yeah everybody wants to be loved and if they don't Something's wrong. Something is wrong with my baby. So, ideally what I hear when I was creating uh, and learning from the other creatives on YouTube is that ideally these look better when the shapes are not so pointy. And so, in remembering that thought, I always, I found myself trying to remove the pointy pieces. So, but there's just a lot of overlapping extra pieces that I'm just, I want the base of it to, to be there so we can see it. But not so much that there's a lot of empty land space around. If you know what I mean. All of a sudden, that singer, she was like a one-hit wonder. Nina Sherry. Gigolo punk suckers. <laughs> no money man could take my love. The sweetness that I'm thinking of. Oh, wow. I'm aging myself. No, seriously, I'm proud of my age. Proud of my age. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Wow, there's some awesome songs back then. <laughs> you gigolo punk suckers. <laughs> oh, Aisha, what's wrong with you, girl? What's wrong? I don't know. I'm just in a weird space, but I'm loving it. Don't know what that's all about. Don't know. Um, one of the things that also goes well, and I don't know where I've left it now. I know. One of the things is not leaving the edges necessarily to... Uh, too white like giving aging the paper just a little bit so you have two choices what do you mean I have two choices well sorry for the reach so this is an ink pad you could use whatever ink pad you have this just happens to be Tim Holtz Ranger name dropping here just a little so and then this brush these brushes you can get on Amazon and all that so don't get twisted don't get you know um, and so, you know, when you're decorating your pages and such, sometimes, just sometimes, maybe you, I don't know, it depends on the page that you're working with. Let me move this aside. And then when, when you're not actively using your ink pad, you just might want to cover it so it doesn't dry up on you. Um, so, like, this is nice. It's not bad. But I'm feeling that if I was to go in 
and maybe just put some ink on it. So I'm just taking the brush and pressing it down in my ink pad, getting some of the ink on there. This is how we dye or change the color of our papers without actually using tea dye or food coloring or something like that. So this here will change that, you see? So right then and there, I changed the look of my paper to suit the page. So I might, if, if my papers were a little bit more on the grungy side, like right there, I might want to keep that. But this is not finished, right? Remember that it could stay raw like this, sure. But for the most part, you want to put a little bit of something nice here just to embellish this a little bit further. And like I said, one of the things you can do is maybe put this there, but then I wouldn't just leave that. I would want to go in with my same brush. I still have some ink on there and put that on and maybe even off-center that. Now, because this is so big, I'm not feeling it 100%. If you don't care, then it's okay. But I care. So it's not okay. And I have some little pieces of paper here that I got from Timu. It's just like a little book of magazine, vintage magazine photos and all that kind of stuff that you could use to embellish your stuff. I'm going to tear this. Oh, this is a really nice one. Well, I will because here it says Easter. Easter is gone. But I like at the very top where it says Harper Bazaar. And Harper Bazaar was an old form of an uh, old magazine from way back when, right? So I just took my my brush, went into that white piece that was left after I tore the paper, and now if I put that right over the staple, look at that. This is what I just created with tearing up those papers. Now, because I went in and I did some crazy, you know, I'm just going to imitate that color blend over my page because I went in and I did that there by accident. So you see there's no big mistake that cannot be created into looking like you intended it to be that way anyways. Anyways. <laughs> um, here we've got a belly band. And what's a belly band? Well... Something that you could stuck, you stick things on there. <laughs> oh man, Aisha, you're on a roll, girl. You're on a roll. So this is not gonna go in there, but if it was, then you put it here, and that's how you would find extra writing spots tucked under a design page like so. Now, I think that this lovely piece of creation that I have can possibly go on top of the belly band just like that. But then no. Where else can it go? Because I've been, gone in and dyed the paper a bit, now I feel compelled that I have to use it somewhere because I started something. Ooh, that's not too bad. Do you like it there? That's not too bad. I kind of like it. Harper Bazaar, the ladies in their fashion outfit right next door to this Harper Bazaar. I could put it there or this lovely page is just sitting here all by itself. Lately when I'm in my room, all by myself. In my solitary room, I hum to myself. Hey then, you with the stars in your eyes. I will put it here because I love it. It looks good. So listen, if I've not expressed myself, if I've not shown you 
sufficiently. I hope you get it soon. That this is how you can save your pieces of paper and create something pretty pretty to look at. Now the way that I'm putting the glue, I'm gonna leave like, I don't know, what, half an inch or so free of the glue and put the rest on the inside. Why? Because I'm looking to have the edge of this on the hanging over the page. And then now I can go back and push it in just a little bit more. And I still have a little piece hanging out. And so love it love it love it so I showed you how I've th done the placement for this one and then of course the first one we did which I've got to make lots more of because I love it and because it's got a brad it's now able to move around how do you like them apples how do you like me now I love it. Ah, okay, so you saw how I put this together. Now, again, if you want to leave them without putting, you saw how I was able to darken the cluster and then put it on the page. But if you want to leave it because the pages you're using is lighter, then by all means, you leave it, right? You don't have to do anything else with it. You're done. Um, because of my lovely circled creation, I wanted to see if I have, if I could do something like that again. Maybe my circles are not all going to match, blend, I don't know. Yes, it did. So I've got my little cluster on the here. I could turn it this way if I want. Uh, this one I could, uh, this is not too bad because this one mimics a piece of that. And then, see if we could find another spot, shall we? This one is nice. Maybe I could put it here. Listen, I I cannot begin to tell you the the uh, the rush of endorphins that. Ugh, that goes through my system looking at this lovely creation I am just enthralled by this whole therapeutic art and I've been doing this for well over I don't know my daughter is turning 16 hard to believe um She's studying hard right now. I'm just thankful for all the prayers that's gone up for my daughter. She's so smart. So, so smart. But like so many young people, she's just been not living up to her potential. But I tell ya, when the whatever gets going, and she, I would come home and see my daughter with her book and everything all laid out, saying, Mommy, I have to study my stuff. I'm like... One day I saw her, I'm like, okay, I got to take a photo of this. Love it. My daughter's scrambling. You know, sometimes we pick them up every time. But after a while, it's like, you know what? Living my life, lived my life. Now it's yours. You want to mess it up? Good luck. So to see my daughter doing her thing, I'm so proud. Proud mama bear. We will make mistakes as young people, as adults, whatever. But... We got to learn. That's how the father is with us. So I'm just proud of her. We got to recognize the good moments. And my daughter is all with all the prayers. I'm just grateful for everything. I serve a mighty God. So I think I want to put this right here. I don't want to cover up this uh, scripture. It says... Him that cometh to me, I, oh, I love it. This is not a coincidence. It says, him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Oh, thank you, Father God. Oh, what a mighty God I serve. And that, 
my soul know it quite well. I am a blessed, blessed child of God. I don't care what comes my way. I, I love you. Love you, Father God. <sighs> Isn't it wonderful we get to hold on to our big papa or daddy or father when all else is falling apart around us? He says, I'm, I'm right here. Why are you freaking out? Just lean on me. Stop fretting about everything and pray. All right. So here is, oh, I just love these circles. My heart is so happy. So the good thing about these circles is that, oh, this one is not rotating because I just locked it in place. So let me see if I could bring it in a bit because I don't like that it was all the way. I love how these circles turn because I could fix it however I want. Yeah. So this is nice. Let's see. Yep, I like it that way. I like it like that. I like it like that. I need to pick up some more glue. Because one of the things that we cannot do without as we craft is glue. We need glue. And I've started to ensure as much as I can to have a surplus, surplus of, of glue. Because... One time, guys, I I, <laughs> I ran out of glue. It's the worst place to find yourself. It's like not having an extra underwear when you want it. <laughs> ah, at least with the underwear, you can go wash it and dry it fast or something. But if you have no glue, can't eat your dinner. So, listen, I don't know. I went on and on about this because I love it. The joy of creating such beautiful stuff with, you know, all you need to do is to find something pretty that complements the clusters that you've created and you've got use of those scrappy pieces of paper. There's no excuse about not using up your scraps. If you want to bless somebody, Give give them some directs and show them how lovely these can be used and give them a whole bunch of them. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking because, you know, when I am selling my journals, I want them to be pretty. But yet I want to use up all of my scraps if I'm not going to find somebody, you know, who can utilize them well and see the beauty in them. My paper, my page got stuck together just now. Hold on. So, for example, this is one way in which I use this piece of scrappy paper. It is so gorgeous. I would not throw it out. But I wouldn't want to give it to someone who wouldn't know how to appreciate it. So, isn't this pretty? This is gorgeous. One way of using that scrappy piece of paper. But having it on the page, man. Oh. Look at that. Look how pretty. So that's one. And this one is a different shade because I colored in the paper. And then, of course, our last one is right here. So, I hope that you learned something. Uh, this journal still needs some more zhuzh. Just a little bit. And uh, I need to do some stamping. That's what I need to do. Some Holy Ghost stamping. Just reminding you about how much God loves you, cares about you, never leave you, nor forsake you. And then uh, this will be available for a new home. Listen, Mother's Day is coming up. I plan on blessing seven people with some journals. Um, if you know of, some, of anybody that you want to bless, and you want to get a hold of me between today and tomorrow, do so. And 
you pay for the postage, I send it to you. Or if you live in Toronto, I get it to you. You make some arrangements. And if there's a mom out there, and there are many of us who are going through, and thank God we are going through and not getting stuck by God's grace, you know, but we need cheering up. We need to be uplifted. And anything pretty to just, you know, God created this world so lovely. But if we look around us, there's so many hurting, so many troubles and, and trials. We need to find a space where not only can we journal, but aesthetically see something pleasing and pleasant to the eyes. So my vintage papers and books and such, you know, so wonderful. You can glaze at some of the past stuff, read. You might even come across something interesting about something you know, or just look at the creativity, or maybe you can decide, huh, why don't I create one of these myself? And, you know, I sell kits. All you got to do is order a kit and you can try your hand at creating one of these lovely journals. Um, I'm sure you've got scrappy papers. You can use any scrappy papers and layer them pretty and then put something lovely at the top to embellish it. And voila, you too can do it. All you have to do is remember, here's the secret. Are you ready? It's all play. It's play. It's try paper play. And then you would see how beautiful an item you can create. Thank you. Blessings. Yes, I was just a chatterbox. Listen, on the 25th of July, I'm having my very first craft expo. I am looking for you all to really and truly try paper play. And this paper expo will give people an opportunity to come there and leave with a bag full of goodies. Why? Because the items will be new and gently, lovingly used. And you will have no excuse about having supplies to so start your journey and trying paper play because the price will be friendly and you will get your start at paper play. Thank you and take care. Blessings. Bye-bye.